Hey guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It's episode number 126. In today's episode we're going to be carrying on in the weekend league. Obviously using Renier that we've recently unlocked as a super sub. He's doing decent. He scored loads of goals in the last game in the last episode. He scored like 4 or 5 when he came on in the second half. He's absolutely quality. So we'll move on to the first game and this was a tough, tough game. He had the likes of Mbappe, Neymar, informed centre-back Walker, who, like I've said before, he's now literally like 1.1 million coins. It's ridiculous how much he is. He was like 300k when he came out months ago. He was like the first like a couple of weeks into the game on it, and now he's 1. something million. It's ridiculous. But what a start this is. Dybala with a header. When do you see that happen? Uh, but literally, it was from kick-off. It was fantastic. And then we bridge him and score a second goal, which is fantastic. So we're now 2-0. Two goals to the good, 15 minutes on the clock, and we're hopefully going to try to get a rage quit. 37 minutes on the clock, we're going to whip it back post. Unfortunately, can't get a header, but brilliant spot from Kimmich to find Ronaldo in the box. 3-0, 39 minutes on the clock. And then we're just going to push through once again. Reina on as a sub. Beautiful Ronaldo drop, and what a finish. Honestly, he's so, so good. He's, he's, he's just class, honestly. Uh, so we absolutely bad that guy. 10 shots to 2. Uh, they were never in doubt that I'm going to lose that game. So we'll move on to the next game. Dresden uh, Fortune. Interesting team. Interesting. Just very interesting general. He's got likes of UCL Tamara. Who has him nowadays? He's also got like Mora Dembele. Just starter players. But he has got an hour freeze card. So he's probably one of them players that don't really play the game. Um, but yeah. This is what happened. A bit of a glitch. It just didn't work. So obviously I left the game. And uh, give me the loss. Which is fantastic nice one here appreciate that but we'll carry on it is what it is to put it into the back of our minds Keane and Rooney playing one two as dreams we've scored we won the up so do you know what we started this episode quite well obviously that glitch is very annoying I don't even know how it happened like it literally just loaded my game it took like 30 seconds on the squad screen of like looking at his team put us into the game then it's flashed with the pitch then it just went off and then obviously I had to close my game because nothing's happening. I don't know what happened to him though. Obviously it'd be interesting to see if he got the loss as well. Uh, if he quit and all, all that stuff like that. Which is, it'd be interesting to find out. But anyway, in this game Ronaldo's going to take a shot. Luckily gets it back to him and we are going to score. So we're now 2-1 up in this game after Rooney equalised our opening goal. Uh, my opponent is going to come through once again with his probably pack pulled at uh, R9. I think it were... Baby R9, so he's probably packed in from a baby R can be So you lucky man, honestly. But anyway, it's now back to 2 2 with Rashford scoring the goal. Then Dybala is going to play it across to Pulisic, who's come on as a sub. He's a very good sub, by the way. He's got the pace, the agility. He's just very, very good on this game. Uh, and we found the goal through winning Rooney. Honestly, Rooney at centre mid, I swear he gets more goals. And he's really, really good in the box from corners. That's why I'm playing it short. Uh, but anyway, watch this goal from Kimmich. Absolutely quality finish. He's so, so good at long shots. He eats mantle. Honestly, we're all living in a Josh Kimmich wonderland. And, you know, this is his world. And we're all living in it, honestly. But anyway, my opponent is going to come through with Wayne Rooney. And it's a solid, solid finish. So we've like 12 minutes to go. We've got. We've got to just hold on. But we don't take it to the corner. Who takes it to the corner? Pulisic brings it back. What a player. And what's he going to do? Oh, he's just got the pace, the agility. He's actually so good. If you didn't get him from level 30 and you picked Plea or you picked Emerson, you, you, you've missed out. Honestly, Pulisic is actually class off the bench. And that puts up to six wins. I do believe we're six and, well, we'll be six and two now because of the, the stupid loss that we shouldn't have got. So we're technically six and one. And the game that we lost, we should never have lost it. The second game... And it was just like my first game on on the on the Saturday, and I just wasn't wasn't clicking. I got the goals that like I went one up, two one up, three two up, four three up as well. I think, and then we lost five four, which is a bit annoying. But we'll move on. And in this game, we do find ourselves one 0 down. I let Dalglish turn. He's a very very good player on his game, and he's going to finish it. But anyway, Kimmich again. He just finds goals. He's so good at the edge of the box. Just have a shot with him if you've got team there, Kimmich. You're an absolute lad. And he's going to do it again. I, they just get better. Literally, every single time I shoot there, it goes in. And that's not even a joke. I don't take 100 shots a game with Kimmich because you can't do that in the weekend league. You've got to take your chances. But look at that ridiculous finish. He's honestly one of the best players I've used in FIFA ever. He's so, so good. And he just breaks up the play. And then we're going to seal it in the 117th minute, getting two goals in extra time, obviously. Um, because obviously you have to draw to go extra time, but yeah, uh, we will take that. Honestly, Kimmich, 
just run that game. And then we'll move on to the next game. Another team with centre-back in form. Walker, maybe the pack pulled him, but I, I, I don't know. Because like, that's a million coins sat there. You're not going to put that in your defence. Um, but anyway, he's also got like Headliner Maris, which you don't really see. I think it's a very rare card because not many people did that card, um, which is interesting because obviously Man City are going to win a lot of games and he's already got upgraded. So people have missed out on that. But anyway, uh, we do go one up through Marcus Rashford at the Derby to Man City, Marcus Rashford, which is fantastic. Uh, but then my opponent is going to come through and find a lovely ball to Zola. But what is that goalkeeping? Nick Pope, have you got arms? Have you got legs? Like, look at this. It hits him on the leg and it goes top ends. Well, not top ends, but like roof of the net. And it is what it is. But after he scored, we're going to respond with the mindset of getting a goal. So we're going to push straight through Josh Kimmich. But is he going to play 1-2? Yes, he is. What's Kimmich going to do? Is he going to hit it again? Don't tell him he's going to hit it again. Is he hit it again? That's for this episode. He's just an absolute class player. Four long shots. I mean, honestly, if I get if I get like a Neymar, and then if I get a team of the year, I'm thinking of getting one of three team that that's for. One of three team of the years. Uh, we're going to have a look at to get Robert Lewandowski up front, or Alfonso Davis. So obviously the two buying links we've got. Um, Josh Kimmich, who's going to score again here. He just scored so many goals this weekend. Uh, so we're going to get either Lewandowski or Davis or also uh, Kevin De Bruyne because we're about like the 1.9 to 2 million coins back at the moment. Um, so like, obviously, we can afford it nearly. Lewandowski, I think, is 2.3, so he's a little bit out of the price range. I think De Bruyne is 2 million and Alfonso Davis is 1.9. So we've got stuff to play with obviously we could go get a trend but i've used him in draft and he wasn't spectacular yeah he's a, he's a good card don't get me wrong he's a very good card but he's not the team of the year level i don't think and obviously he'd be playing a right wing back that i mean tavernier moves to left wing back and i don't really want to do that well it's not wing back see i play left and right mid because i play three five two obviously because we're not sweat we don't play five three two who does that absolutely no one uh apart from pretty much everyone that likes to be a meta person on this game but anyway rashford's through here We'll tap it back, and it's a good finish. That's a bit of a sweaty, but you know, you've got to take goals sometimes. I needed that for the insurance to get two goals ahead to hopefully not concede a 90th minute uh, goal. We didn't concede one anyway, but we'll, it's just nice to get the buffer. Uh, so we win that game 5-3, which is absolutely fantastic, and that moves up to eight wins. But anyway, going back to the team of the year things. Uh, no, right, no, this team. Right, this team, this guy was an elite one player. I'm not even joking. He bought Puskas, uh, and that's basically why his team's quite bad. He's obviously got the likes of Firmino, uh, but then he's got the meta players of obviously Varane and um, Mendy as well. But we do take the lead. Um, we do actually take the lead. So I'm absolutely buzzing. I didn't know obviously we were a late one player at the time, but you could see the way he would just conduct himself in the box like that. Lovely finish from Puskas on his weak foot, I do believe. But you give Puska space, he's going to score. He's a very, very clinical player on this game. Uh, but anyway, what can we do? Well, uh, Walker plays it across to Rashford, who finds Rooney. We're winning again against this uh, top elite player. He's a very, very good player. And we're going to call through once. No, no, no. Wait, what? I don't think this guy would be an elite player. No, he can't be. I don't know. No, no, we lost to an elite player. So I've just absolutely sold you a lie there. I've sold you a kipper. But anyway, we'll move to the next game. Uh, and this is a very interesting team. He's got four icons, probably all packed for icons. Maybe not, maybe three. He's probably done the Van de Sar SBC. Um, but he's got Kadera in there. Like, who uses flashback Kadera? Uh, and we are going to go through straight away and find ourselves one up, four minutes on the clock, which is fantastic. Uh, but speaking of Kadera, he's now moved to Hertha building, and I didn't even realise. I got, I got him in a play pick like the other day, and I didn't even realise he played for Hertha now. I thought he still played at Juventus, which is interesting. Just a nice little fact there for you. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, what can we do in this game? Well, we're going to see him on back post. I thought Tavernier were actually offside there. Uh, so, when it actually went in and we saw, like, the card come up and stuff like that, like, it, it went in. It was allowed. Uh, but we'll tell you that. And then Renier showing the strength and the pace and the power uh, to get past all the defenders, holding them off and chipping the goalkeeper, which is fantastic. Uh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Oh, also, Cucurella came out yesterday. We all know about that. I've nearly completed him, so you'll see it throughout the week. Uh, we've got to his 86. I don't know if I'm going to go to his 87. I probably will, because there's no point stopping at the 86. Is the get it for fodder, put the 86 into an SBC. Hopefully, player of the month. Neymar comes out, 
and then we can put all the math fodder into that, all the objectives that we've accumulated over the year and make that basically free and then that's good. Anyway, Renier, he, he just strikes, he's so, so good. He's just like Kimmich, well not really just like Kimmich, but edge of the box, he will probably put it in the back of the net nine times out of ten with a finesse shot. Um, my opponent is going to get a goal here with uh, that man Carrasco in the 86 minutes, so I'm sort of like, oh no, please, please don't. Don't come back. We don't know, we've got like three minutes left to just hold on. Luckily, we do hold on, which is fantastic. He played a 4 triple 2 in game. Uh, so he played what he started with, which was interesting. Not a lot of people play that. But that is going to wrap up the end of the episode. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow. Peace. Because we are living.